Good evening, Twin Tiers. It is 611 on your Monday evening. Live look at our Cornell Sky Cam. We're seeing mainly cloudy skies throughout the area and some light scattered showers still moving through. That'll be the story throughout the first part of the evening hours. Then we'll turn mostly cloudy. The showers will move out. Decreasing clouds after midnight, turning partly cloudy as high pressure moves in from the west and we see abundant sunshine. Tuesday and Wednesday. Wider view there of the Cornell Sky Cam. You can see those cloudy skies throughout the area. Even a few raindrops have been picking up on the camera lens as light showers and sprinkles have been moving through the area. Our weather headlines, what we're tracking for you. Hold on to your hats. Very windy conditions throughout the rest of tonight and into the first part of tomorrow. Winds gusting upwards of 40, even 50 miles an hour. Cooler temperatures and windy conditions are in store Tuesday, but then it turns mild with sunshine in store for Wednesday. Rain, though, and the windy conditions return Thursday as our next system moves in, and a weekend cool down is expected with even some snow flurries mixing into the forecast come Saturday and Sunday. I'll have those details coming up. But right now, currently at the Elmira Corning Regional Airport, some light showers, 43 degrees, winds out of the west, 23 miles an hour sustained, gusts closer to 35, even 40 miles an hour. Cloudy skies in Ithaca, a temperature in the low 40s, wind sustained at 22 miles an hour. Our almanac, we had a high earlier today in the upper 50s, well above average. Our overnight low tonight in the mid 20s is right on average for this time of the year. Let's take a look at those temperatures throughout the viewing area. Holding steady in the low 40s, upper 30s throughout much of the area. Wind speeds out there right now sustained anywhere from 23 miles an hour in Elmira down to 22 miles an hour in State College, 22 in Rochester in the that's just the sustained wind speeds. Wind gust at times throughout the area, closer to 30, even 40 miles an hour. And just a few hours ago, we had a wind gust near 50 miles an hour at the Elmira Corning Regional Airport. And that's prompted the National Weather Service throughout the entire viewing area to issue a wind advisory until 6 a.m. Tuesday morning. These scattered showers are going to move through throughout the first part of the evening hours, mixing with maybe a snowflake or two throughout higher elevations. Thanks to that cold front that moved through earlier today, low pressure situated just to the north of Lake Ontario, but high pressure off to our west. That'll be making its way in Tuesday and Wednesday, providing us with sunny skies both days. Your forecast for the rest of tonight, cooling it down into the lower 30s, mainly cloudy skies and then turning partly cloudy after midnight. Tomorrow, high pressure moves in. We'll see partly to mainly sunny skies, high temperatures warming up to a five degree guarantee of 45. Future track mapping it out for you here. You'll see the mix of light scattered rain and snow showers early tonight, turning mostly cloudy and then partly cloudy after midnight. Clouds will start to clear out going into Tuesday. High pressure moves in, not a cloud in the sky for Tuesday. And then going into Tuesday night, we keep it clear, mainly clear skies Tuesday night. And then Wednesday, much of the same abundant sunshine clouds stay to our north. Five degree guarantee for today. We forecast 57 and we unofficially hit 58 so far at the Elmira Corning Regional Airport. Your forecast for the rest of tonight, cooling it down into the lower 30s with a scattered shower possible early. Otherwise, decreasing clouds, windy and partly sunny for your day tomorrow. Five degree guarantee 45, but still windy out there going into the day tomorrow. Hold on to your hats. Winds 45 to 50 mile an hour gust tonight and into tomorrow, but sunshine though in store going into Wednesday. Very nice conditions warming back up. Hold on to your hats is right though. Definitely because the windy conditions thanks to this cold wind that moved through. So hopefully they'll start to calm down, mm -hmm. but then as we go into Thursday, our next chance of rain, wind will start to pick back up going to the end of the week. All right, Ryan, thank you so much. You're welcome.